The cameras on board the Dawn mission have mapped Vesta for more than a year. In total they recorded 28,000 images and each single image was full of surprises for us. At the South Pole we discovered an impact basin with a diameter of more than 300 miles and in the middle of the basin a 14 miles high mountain. Dimensions like this we've not yet seen on any other planetary body. This basin was formed by a tremendous collision with another asteroid. The impact shocked Vesta through and through and left its traces all over the asteroid. Vesta's topography is quite unusual and extreme. We see steep slopes all over the asteroid, only few smooth planes in between. And this Vesta also is quite unique. The impacts of smaller asteroids on these slopes left crater shapes of all kinds regular circular craters and also irregular ones. A system of troughs stretches along the equator several hundreds of miles long. Probably they formed when the gigantic impact hits the South Pole. They show the tremendous vibrations Vesta had to withstand. Some observations made us think hard about what occurred. For instance, there is quite dark material at and in some craters. The stuff could have come with the impacting bodies to Vesta, or it was excavated by the impact from layers below the surface. This is one of the major mysteries we have to solve. Remarkable features on Vesta are the three craters Marcia, Calpurnia and Minusia. The cameras show every tiny detail and every rock that rolled from the walls to the crater floor. Finally we have mapped the North Pole and now Dawn left Vesta. The spacecraft is on its way to reach its next target, the dwarf planet Ceres, where it will arrive early in 2015.